हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज द इन्वेंटरी कंट्रोल एंड बेसिकली दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द इन्वेंटरीज नाउ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द इन्वेंटरी और द प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट एंड दैट इज आल्सो नोन एज द मटेरियल मैनेजमेंट नाउ सपोज देयर इज एनी प्रोडक्शन कंपनी व्हिच इज प्रोड्यूसिंग सम मटेरियल्स एंड for that production company it is not always possible to maintain all its production according to the demand exactly that means that is always based on the market so sometime happens that the company is producing its production things or produce things just more than the demand and that type of thing is called as the overstocking that means the overstocking happens when the production is more than the demand and another one term that is known as the understocking that is the process when the demand is the more than the production that means whatever the material the production company is producing is particularly known as the stock and that stock is overstocking when the production is more than the demand and the understocking is the process when the demand is more than the production so what is the inventory now inventory may be defined as the stock of goods commodities or other economic resources that are stored or reserved in order to ensure smooth and the efficient running of business affairs so that is known as the inventory and the product management is also known as the material management already we have said now what are the classification of the inventories particularly there are two types of inventories one is direct and another one is indirect now when we are discussing about the direct inventories that means there is first one known as the production inventories that means the raw material component sub assemblies which are particularly required at first for any production company the raw materials those are categorized in the form of production inventories the second one is known as the work in progress inventory the work in progress that means the semi finished form of product suppose some production company is producing some material now when that is half finished that is particularly known as the work in progress inventory the third one is particularly the finished good inventory the final product that means whatever the production company is producing that is known as the final product and that is known as the finished good inventory the fourth one is particularly the mro inventory and that is particularly the m is defining the maintenance r is defining the repairing and o is defining the operating that means that is not only the production company is made or may just going on to the product only it is also have some inventory which is required for the maintenance repairing and operations and the another one direct that is known as the miscellaneous inventory and that is related with the scrap or the obsolete stocks for the production company that means suppose the production company is producing some garments now after the final product is produced the company is checking that some scrap or obsolete products are there which can be used for another type of product so that type of inventory is particularly known as the miscellaneous inventory or the scrapped like obsolete 
Now the another type that is known as the indirect inventories and those are these inventories include those items which are necessarily required for manufacturing but do not become the component of the finished production like oil, grease, lubricants, petrol, office material, maintenance material etc. Suppose a production company have some machine to produce some goods. Now the machine required suppose the oil or the petrol to run the machine smoothly. Now that type of stock or inventory is particularly required to maintain the production not only the raw materials also. So that type of inventories are particularly known as the indirect inventories. Now the next part is particularly why we should use the inventories. Suppose it helps in smooth and efficient running of the business. It provides adequate service to the customers. It reduces the possibility of duplication of orders. It helps in maintaining the economy. It helps in minimizing the loss due to deterioration, obsolescence, damage, etc. It acts as a buffer stock also when raw materials are received late and shop rejections are too many and takes advantages of price discounts by bulk purchasing. So that is particularly the introduction of the inventory model or the inventory control. In the next video, we will proceed with another term that is known as the types of inventories.